Welcome back to the channel today, guys. I want to show y'all how to rebuild your sub on tank pools. As you can tell, there's two holes in this one. We're not going to be rebuilding this one today. Actually, we're not going to be real be rebuilding it at all. I'm just going to tell y'all what I did. And then next time, I will rebuild it because I rebuilt this one. It turned out magnificent. Y'all won't believe what I made it out of. This right here is guitar wire. I just had an old guitar laying around somewhere. And uh, actually, this is brand new guitar wire. I didn't just strum it off my guitar and cut it and whatnot. What you're gonna use is that center wire, which is this right here. Well, not the center wire, but it's the outside wire that wraps around the, the main wire of the guitar string. You're gonna, you're gonna wanna take that off and you're gonna to wanna to straighten that out as the best as you can. What I use to gauge it is this tool right here. You can go to your local auto parts tool, it's a tap, but I used this part right here to gauge the inside of my cool. And uh, pretty much just did it like that. And uh, this is the cotton I used. Some of y'all already know what cotton this is, but it's really good cotton. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh, the juice I'm also using today is a Humble Fruit Punch Ice. Yeah, Humble is coming out with new flavors, y'all. Go check them out. Uh, what I started out with today is, like I said, start out with basic wire. I'm gonna set my phone down and show y'all how to prepare one of these wires. Get it to sit straight. Okay. Now what we're gonna do I gotta find that wire that I had a while ago. Mine's going crazy, y'all. Alright. So this wire right here, it's not really good. So what you're going to want to do is you want to cut this at a certain length that you want to. You can use pliers, uh, wire cutters like this. You want to cut it at a, a good length. Boom. Okay. Where the wire is, you can get a sharp object like a buck cutter or something like that. Kind of fray it out like that. Until it starts coming off like that, that little piece right there that's sticking out. Once, you, when it, cause once it gets like that, you wanna grab it. Okay, so that's actually plenty of wire right there. And I'm gonna kinda get these wires these uh, pliers right here, they got grooves in them right here. I'm gonna try to straighten out this wire. Okay, that's just the, this is the best time I'm gonna get that wire. Okay, this right here is the gauging tool that I'm using. What you're gonna do, stick your finger on one side, like this right here, you're gonna wrap it the best way you can. Because you're gonna want clearance between the wires so they won't touch each other. And me personally, see, started wrapping around the, the gauge. And uh, me personally, I do this because Hey, why not? It's free. You ain't got to spend no money to do this, especially if you already got cotton for RTDAs or RDAs. And uh, you can do it like that. Sweet. Okay. These will generally last you just as long as a regular cool wood. But what I'm doing right here is I'm trying to push this wire in.
just like that. Okay, see this top bar right here? You're gonna wanna bend it over. So what you're gonna wanna do, is you wanna grab this side of the wire that's looped over and just push it down, just like so. Keep it there for a couple seconds so it kind of forms to a shape. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, see, now it's gonna leave a little space like that and that's good. Don't do anything to it. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is take it off. As you can tell, it's the beginning of a cool. You wanna squish it all the way down, just like so. And you're gonna bend this bottom wire out. And I apologize, y'all. This does not look the best, but hey, it works. Okay, and you wanna trim all this excess wiring off. So now, this is where you put it back on the gauge, see if everything checked out to be right. All right, so we did successfully do this. And this will be the next coil that I use for this vape. Sweet. Now there's a trick to doing this, guys. But that will be on next next time's video. Once this cool goes bad, I'll replace it with brand new cotton. And this ain't sheet cotton. This is actual cotton that you put in an RTDA, which is cools that go like this. I've got two of them, two different kinds. I got Mad Rabbits, and I got uh, Hell Vapes. I've used both of these, and my RTDA worked great but uh i'm gonna try to do one on this one just so i have an extra cool you know it ain't gonna be no big deal uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get this side of here and show y'all what i was talking about that's uh bored out and empty right there but uh this is gonna be the next project i do guys if y'all like this video please like it because y'all will help me out a long run. But uh, this right here is how you make a cool for any vape that's got a sub-bomb take. Thank you for watching.